It's dark, Tigger. Let's stay here. Come on, Nick. It's so long. Let's see what happens. I'd rather stay here in the dark and the shadow. Not as well. Let's see what happens. Come on, What should I do? Should I hold on to the familiar darkness? Do I overcome my fears? Do I step out of the grief in my soul? Do I step into the unknown? Don is close. Come and see what has happened to the Christ. Let's go together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When a butterfly emerges, it doesn't do it rapidly, but it's very slow. When the butterfly emerges, it's almost like slow motion. It stretches out its left wing very slow, and arches the back, and it st stretches out its right wing very slow, and arches its back, arches both wings back, and it's very slow, and stretches and stretches. And I wondered about that butterfly. When the butterfly comes out of the cocoon experience, when the imaginal cells have done their work, when this butterfly is a new creature, a little bit of the essence. They say butterflies have caterpillar memories. That's pretty remarkable, too. They've scientists, again, with very thick glasses have figured that out. <laughs> I don't know. They say caterpillars have, uh, butterflies have caterpillar memories. And I wondered if that caterpillar has a new experience of life, a new perspective. If, if colors are brighter to that butterfly. If things seem a little bit more fragile to that butterfly. If things, if the butterfly, if, if it's possible, if the butterfly can have appreciation. If the butterfly has, has, has more appreciation for life than what it did when it was a caterpillar. I think we do that in life. We have moments where we cocoon our lives, where we experience tragedy, where we experience death, where we experience depression, where we experience divorce, where we experience all kinds of heartache, and we cocoon ourselves. It's a very dark place, a place of isolation. And if we can ever come out of that cocoon, no. There's some tragedies that, that hurt people so deeply, you don't know if they'll ever come out of that cocoon. But then there are times that we've experienced tragedy that we thought we would never survive or we thought that we would never come out. Not that we don't forget it. But if we can emerge, if we, like imaginal cells, can do a work of transformation in our lives, what happens is something beautiful. Life seems more precious. Life seems more fragile, but yet more beautiful. I think that's the perspective of the butterfly. And I think like the imaginal selves, disciples of Christ, we have a task, a mission to transform and reshape and to reimagine and to resurrect heaven here on earth. And what a, what a privilege. What a sacred responsibility. 
that we all have God's DNA in us, those imaginal cells that can do a word of transformation. 